Hi, um, my name's Linda Thackeray. I'm from Sydney, Australia, and I have the pleasure to be with Christy Foster from Utah. And uh, today we're answering some questions around the online psychosomatic therapy training. And we would love to invite you to come to our training. It starts in a lesson, well, it starts on the 15th of March if you're in the US or Canada, and the 16th of March if it's in Australia. But we've got some questions to answer, and I'm just going to throw you over to Christy for the first question. All right. Thank you, Linda. Um, these were great questions that were asked by previous students, people that are wondering about the course now. And one of the questions that we get asked often is, so is that, do I have to be a professional? Do I have to already have some type of business or modality to take the class? Or can I just take it for my own learning? And the answer is yes. There's two different pathways that we have through the psychosomatic college. We have the pathway of personal development and learning, which is the journey would be completely about you learning all about how your body presents itself, how, what, what are the patterns being held? How could we create a more ballast environment in your body and more awareness to that? And all the tools that come with that, you would learn on a personal level, on a professional level, you're actually, you have the opportunity to have a certification after this level one course, there's some homework involved. We have six month mentoring as a bonus that's also involved that you can ask any questions about, um, about the homework. So there's a really beautiful foundation set up for you if you are a practitioner in any way and you're supported through the process. You're not just going to take the class and then be sent away on your own. You're actually going to have the support of the teachers through that process. So you can begin to integrate the psychosomatic work in whatever it is you do. It doesn't even have to be any type of healing modality. It can be real estate. It can be one-on-one um, -on -one working. One of my really wonderful friends took it. She's a psychotherapist. And every time I see her, I always hear, I use it every single day with every single person. And what she's using is the awareness and understanding of who's in front of her. So she can um, better know what to do or how to speak to them based on their body language, based on their face. So they feel understood and heard. So it's a very valuable set of tools that anyone can you use professionally or like I said, just for self-improvement. Yeah. I think it's, um, it's a question that people often ask this question, but also even on the first day of training, there's, there's often people that will say, I'm not here for myself. I'm here mm -hmm. to help my clients. I really would like to have some additional skills. And then along the way, they recognize that actually, they're predominantly there for themselves. And as they um, really come into their own body and explore some of their own patterns, they become so much more effective in working with clients and vice versa. Some people literally think that they're um, coming for personal development and it ends up being such a life-changing experience for them that they go on, do additional trainings and eventually become a psychosomatic therapist as well. True. Once you, once you begin to learn, there are many pathways. Yeah. And there's not a hard rule of what you have to do. Yeah. I love the question, Christy, as well. Um, how long will it take to be able to integrate it into my practice? And there is not a, a one answer fits everyone with that question. So what I've noticed with people that are already working with clients, as they learn the skills, it's something that um, literally is applied almost immediately into the practice, because there are so many tools that um, that we that we deliver um, that are so effective to be able to to be used immediately. 
And I'm, I'm kind of chuckling to myself because I, you know, I had um, some students that were physiotherapists and in between training days, they were coming in and giving me some feedback with what they had noticed in their clients that they previously hadn't noticed before. Uh, so it's really, it's really exciting to see the different fields that people come from. And, you know, we are one of those modalities where the people are working with the mind, the emotions or massage therapists, they all bring their own um, expertise. And with that expertise, psychosomatics is like the glue that brings all the other modalities together. Mm -hmm. It really is. It's a, it's rich. And what I tell students is you'll never unsee it. You will see yourself in a different way. And you'll also begin to see everyone around you in a different way. And I would say a much more compassionate way because it gives you various lenses to experience yourself through and other people and clients, just like you said. And I remember the first time I took it, I remember the first day after learning how to read faces, looking at my kid's face, my little boys and my husband. And I thought, well, no wonder that he's this way. No wonder he's that way because I didn't understand their face shape meant that they might process or move differently than I did. And that was probably one of the most helpful things as a mother that I could have ever had, let alone a practitioner of cranial sacral work and massage to understand those I love closest to me is the most valuable thing that I've received from psychosomatics by far. Yeah. I still remember the first time I heard someone from their perspective and and recognizing how easy it is to think that people are thinking something. And then when you actually learn how to read people's shapes and uh, the personality to go, actually, that's not their intent. Um, and to do that self-reflection at the same time. Yeah. And Linda, one of the other questions that I think is really important to address is the, the difference between an, the online course, which we're offering and an in-person course yeah. that we're offering. What would you say that is? And then I'll share my piece. Yeah. Thank you, Christy. So with uh, COVID that created the necessity to bring this work online and it's worked out really well because there are people from countries and people from different parts of the world that cannot attend face-to-face -face training. And so what we've done is we've, we've basically unpacked it so that as much of the training can be done online as possible, but there are some hands-on days and the hands-on days include emotional release, trigger point therapy and the practice the actual practical application of body-mind analysis. So the body-mind analysis is taking a look at how someone is fleshed out, how they stand, their posture, their breathing. And whilst we can do some of that online, it's really the theory that we do online, but also gaining the awareness, not just from a theoretical perspective, but when you meet and greet without touching somebody, which is actually in a lot of fields, Mm -hmm. how that person will look. So we take photos front, back, side. So even with the theory, um, it's more than just like words in a page. It's actually taking a look at, you know, what that would be, um, mirroring the body stances, getting a feeling for uh, a body that has a lot of heavy armoring. You know, how would that actually be from um, the somatic conditioning? We encourage people um to really feel into their own body and to present their body in the same format that what they're noticing with their client so you actually get that sensory feedback in terms of what would that be if my feet are close together what would it be if my shoulders are hunched down so it is actually more than the theory that's learned but when we go to the face-to-face -face training we're working live with clients and it's a, it's the next level of understanding psychosomatics. It is definitely. And what I loved about the online training that we taught last time was it's still very intimate. Yeah. 
it's very intimate because we are looking at those photos interacting at the same time. And we're also sharing videos. So you're getting a live back and forth interaction the entire course. It isn't just theory and learning because information can just be an overload. This is going back and forth of learning, watching, hearing, seeing. We're using all different types of ways of learning. So to me, I think some of it actually made it better because it was close up. It's yeah. a different cadence than in person. And there's a lot of space for questions, especially with this course, because we have three teachers. Sean is also from Australia and he's been a master teacher for years. And so has Linda. So we have three different perspectives from teachers, which for me, that's one of the most valuable pieces of this online training is perspective. How, yeah. how you see something, Linda, is not how I see it. And yet it's the same. Yeah. at the end of getting into that. So you learn different languaging around it and also um, perspectives about you yourself, let alone clients or people that you're working with. Yeah, it's true. And the, the space for sharing and to diving deep within, you know, some of those patterns that we can be ashamed of uh, feel that we are the only person in the world that may have had some of the experiences. When you start to recognize that um, some of those areas that are pocketed and literally parked in the body um, are experiences that require a change of a relationship with. Mm -hmm. And we hold the space for you to be able to explore. Uh, we push you gently with, you know, with love and care but we really ask you to, you know, consider yourself in a different way um, so that you can really get the most out of, out of the experience. And if you want to look at some of the testimonials, you can go to our website. Mine is um, thefaceandbodyinterpreter.com. Uh, so if you go to that website, you'll notice that there are some testimonials. And there's more information on the courses available on uh, Christy's website as well. Mm -hmm. So Christy... Foster.co. Yep. ChristyFoster.co. And we are open and willing and happy to answer any questions that you might have. Sometimes this sparks a different interest and you think of another question. We're happy to ask that or answer any of those questions because that's why we're here. And please feel free to reach out to us if this is something that interests you or that resonates with you. We're here. Yeah. And the last question that we had was, what if I can't start in March? So we had um, one person who wasn't able to start in March and they've said, you know, what would happen if I missed the first class? So what we would need to do would be to catch you up with mm -hmm. the course being run every month. So two days per month, we have time to catch you up if you miss that class. If you did miss a class in the training, uh, we would work with you one-on-one. -on -one. So contact us, let us know if one of the dates don't work and let's see what we can do. Yep, so we welcome you in and we're excited to share this amazing education. It is life-changing for you, especially and the people around you. Yay, we look forward to hearing from you.